Hey friends, I'm super excited to talk to you guys about the banana today. I know it sounds horrible. I guess technically speaking, um, it's called a rectangle. But I enjoy calling it banana because everything else is a fruit. There's apples, there's pears, so why not a banana? And I finally figured out an hourglass. Hi Pammy. I'm thinking an hourglass is gonna be a peanut, right? Have you seen the peanut emoji? Looks like an hourglass. I'm gonna lower you guys a little bit so I can color on you right here. I enjoy coloring on people. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the banana right now and I will have to admit to you, I have found in my four years of doing LuLaRoe that the banana honestly has been the hardest for me to help people style. And that's mainly because it took me about two years, I know, a little thick headed, to figure out that banana people, I normally make everybody wear things that are too small for them. I figure, I like it tight, everyone should like it tight, right? But hey, Miss Annalie, but I realized in after about two years of doing this, like halfway in, that one of the best things about a banana is that they can oversize it. And a lot of like some of my biggest customers that were banana-y would get a little frustrated because I would constantly be telling them to size down and they weren't super stoked about that. But um, I have learned to help them to size up and help them to accept that it's about fit and not necessarily about size. So if you know anybody who's a banana shape or technically a rectangle, feel free to share this with them so that they can uh, kind of figure out how to accomplish their style goals. Basically a banana, let's talk about what a banana looks like. Here we go. Let me get my drawing board out. Gotta wait for me a minute. I really love this feature on Facebook. It makes me really happy. And do you like that I stood somewhere with a blank wall so we don't have to like... <laughs> Thanks, Annalie. So we don't have to fight against all the clothes in the background. Uh, anyway, speaking of clothes, look at this amazing Irma. I'm obsessed with an Irma. We'll talk about Irma a little bit today. Um, so a banana. Why a banana? Basically, your banana girl looks like this, right? This is what a banana. Oh, I gotta, I gotta screw my screen in because I'm a, uh, I'm moving and grooving around here. It's jiggling everywhere. I like it when things jiggle. It's all good. Jiggling is good. Right? That's what my mommy told me. So it's got to be good. So basically, here's your banana. Hey, if I write this on here, can somebody tell me if it's backwards? Banana. Oh, crap. A banana. It's really hard to do this, just so you guys know. You want my shirt, Pammy? It's amazing. You should have been on my live when I was at... Um, leadership in Disneyland. I was pulling stuff left and right, all the sparkle, all the time. All right. So I can hardly see comments when I do this, but I'm going to see that. It's correct. Thanks, Annalie. You're a good friend. You're a real good friend. Okay. So the banana, basically this shoulders, right? Shoulders and hips right here. They're going to be even. Okay. So basically it's more like cylindrical and surprisingly, especially when I was doing, um, all the comments and things like that, there's a large portion of people that are truly bananas, like truly are rectangular shaped. So basically, just like the picture, your shoulders and your hips are gonna be even and there's no real defined waist. You tend not to be too busty. I mean, there's like little boobies up in there and not too hippy. And so when you guys gain weight, you gain weight normally around the middle, okay? So this was where I was having serious issues with you beautiful people. I was forcing you in clothes that were too small for you and you felt like it wasn't giving you any sort of shape. So you guys, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry to all you beautiful bananas out there that I was not doing the best job. So this has been about two years. So I've been doing this for four years. So in two years, I've been trying to like make up for my, my faulty banananess, okay? deepest, humblest apologies to all you beautiful bananas. So as we've talked about before, let's see, we, most people, most women, they want to do two things. They want to show off what they've got and then they want to create an hourglass look. Okay. So the idea is how do you get that to the peanut? I'm calling it the peanut now. Does everyone agree with the peanut shape? Whoa, that's real exaggerated, Amy. Ain't nobody got time to look like that. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Okay. <laughs> so there's the idea. 
So you've got Banana Girl, who is over here, and pretty much, for the most part, culturally speaking, everyone has exceptions, but we're looking for boobs, waist, and butt, okay? Right? If anybody would like to tell me I'm wrong, I will happily take your suggestions because this is just my experience and where I'm at. So with banana ladies, you beautiful rectangles, you guys have amazing arms, generally speaking, great legs. Like you guys, I mean, who is it? Carrots, apples, and bananas. All the good legs, all the time. Do you guys like this beautiful picture here? It's so good. Oh, he's trying to make it yellow. So I'm gonna highlight the things, there we go. Good legs and good arms. And if you have a banana in your life, feel free to share this with them lovingly or share it on your timeline and tag them because, oh, like this is interesting because you don't really want to be like, hey, banana, we're going to style you, right? It's not the best thing. So what I did when I was having real trouble kind of styling these people, I invited some people over that were this shape and I dressed them and found everything I could find that was going to fit them and gave them the look that they were looking for. So what I'm going to share with you is things that I have learned through styling people and also my background as a florist, which is all about sculpture and balance, is how we can take, let's see, where's my finger, this guy, this girl here, and help her achieve that look over there. Not that everybody has to look the same, but <coughs> we all have style goals, right? And I think that with LuLaRoe, we have a really great vehicle to get us from here to here without, this is my infomercial part, part, with no surgery and no dieting and nothing at all. We can transform you with one little package, right? I gotta get a little infomercial in there for a second because <coughs> I really think it's true that you can do so much with styling to create the balance and the look you're looking for. Okay, so let's start. Let's get my pink finger back on. I hope you guys like my uh, whiteboard situation here. I thoroughly enjoy doing it this way. I tried to do it on paper once and it did not work out so well for me. Okay, so hi April. So we're talking about LuLaRoe styles to invest in because truly it's an investment, right? It's not cheap clothes. You're gonna wanna have them for a while. <coughs> this isn't, you know, other big box stores where you buy it and it's gone in six months. <coughs> Someone texts my husband to bring me water. <coughs> oh my gosh, too much. So, great arms, great legs, okay, is generally one of the things that these girls have going for them. And one of my best tricks for you guys is to oversize. I know a lot of times we get a little vein in LuLaRoe and we're like, I'm a small, I'm an extra, extra small. Let's throw all those letters and all those numbers out the window right now because we're gonna talk about fit, okay? You have to have it fit you nicely. <coughs> One of the best things I love on these ladies is an oversized Julia dress. So our Julia dress has a really nice sleeve, right? And then she fits pretty form-fitting to the body. But if you oversize her, you can put a belt and you can kind of blouse it up can kind of blouse it up a little. And then that's gonna create this really great look for you where it's gonna give you a bit of a waist. It's not gonna be so tight that you feel constrained around your midsection, but it's gonna give you a nice clean look that you're looking for. And another great thing to put on top of the Julia dress, let's see, let's, give it, let's make it blue. Ooh, how do I draw this? This is our Shirley. That's what I'm trying to draw here. The Shirley. <laughs> Does that look anything like a Shirley? You know, has that kind of scarfy front. Oh my gosh, this looks insane. Okay, but it's cute. <laughs> so the Shirley, when she's layered on top of anything, kind of creates that look. Here, let me show you. So here's, I got this for you guys. So this is just a Carly. Carly is great pretty much in every body type. It's really nice on a, on a rectangular shape or a banana shape because it will um, hang really nicely off the shoulders. It won't cling to the midsection or anything. So I have it here with a Joy, which is great because it kind of breaks it up into thirds and makes it longer and leaner. But you guys are already pretty straight, straight through the hips and stuff. So I wanna show you the difference. So here's this, just sitting here, nice and long and lean. The difference between putting it with a Joy and putting it with a Shirley if they will let go of each other. 
right? <clears throat> I just kind of grabbed this off the rack and I was really surprised that it matched. <laughs> so when you are a little less curvy, if you put something like the Shirley on, it's going to give you guys a little bit more movement. Hi, Caitlin. It's going to give you a little bit more movement. And then right here, it's going to help highlight and make you pretend like you have a waist, right? You guys are also really good with a Carly belted. Not a lot of people can pull off a belted Carly, but for you guys, if you're in your banana shape, it's such a good look for you. Let me show you why. Oh, here's your banana. I don't know why I'm blue now because I forgot to change colors. If you put on a Carly, which kind of hangs like this, right? And then kind of goes up. Here, we're going to have to color the Carly in. We'll color the Carly pink. All right. So here's your Carly. You, you have a nice shape right there, but if you take and you put a belt on right there where your waist would be, it, it creates the look that you're going for, right? The, the Carly on other body shapes kind of naturally flows in and then out again, but for you guys, you have to force it. So a belt for you guys is really, 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 you need to invite you so you don't miss things, Amber. <laughs> Just turn notifications on. Oh my gosh, Caitlin, you're too cute. So, oh, so Amber, this is the thing. I signed up for text messaging services so I can shoot you a text message, text message when I'm about to go live. Okay, would that be helpful for you? <laughs> so, Carly's are great, great choices for you guys. Also, you guys get to do a lot of the things that are like normally like don'ts for fashion. Um, because, whoa, now we're black. I got to get back to pink. Let's go away. Wait. Erase. Pink, um, pink, only pink. So you guys are straight like this. And one of the things that you guys get to do that not a lot of people get to do is have things hit you straight across the hip. So for you guys, our maxi skirt paired with a Gigi or a classic tee is a really good look for you. Um, so that's a maxi skirt, how it hugs the hips, right? So maxi kind of hugs the hips nicely right there and gives you a butt where you may not normally have one. I'm being nice to you, it's okay. We all are who we are. So a classic tee is a really good one for you guys. You tend to really like a classic tee when I run into people like you, because it has a shorter sleeve and it shows off your arms. It has a nice scoop neck, and then the classic tee just sits nicely right at the hips. So you guys are really great if, to create balance if you let it hit you right at the hip, which for other people, even an hourglass repair shape, you don't really want to do that. <coughs> it doesn't pertain to you. Well, just hang out with me. Then you can help your fellow man, your fellow woman. You can be like, girl, you are a banana. We're going to have to change the peel. We're going to have to figure you out, girl. See, we're, we're solving world peace right here, right now. <laughs> um, another great skirt style for you guys. I really like skirts in general on women. I think that they look great. They look professional, but also they help really give a great, um, just a style, like feel to them. And so for you guys, a Lucy skirt or a Lola skirt, that's going to sit a little higher. Again, you have to size up, size up and don't be afraid of that. Size up to fit your waist because you don't want to be uncomfortable. You don't want to be pinching it in. You have smaller areas up top and then below where you guys can really show off your arms, your legs, stuff like that. But size it up to your waist, right? And then the Lucy skirt's just going to fall real like feminine and softly around your midsection. It's going to create the look of a waist. Now, <clears throat> this took me some time to adjust to. Um... Stumbled on, you're a banana. Welcome, Christine. You can be a banana. All bananas are welcome in this place. All tropical. We're doing a fruit salad <laughs> with a little bit of carrots involved. I don't know what that makes that. Um, uh, you guys are really a great candidate for just understanding that, it took me a long time to figure this out too, that if you want your waist to look smaller, it's okay to make your boobs look bigger, and it's okay to make your butt look bitter. bigger. Not bitter. Bigger. <laughs> So a lot of times we're scared of that. We're scared of oversizing things because <clears throat> we don't want to appear bigger than what we are. But in reality, when you're in a rectangle shape, if you go bigger and go by the size and like fits comfortably to your midsection, like oversizing a Julia and belting it and like blousing it up is such a good look for you. Oversize and fit to your stomach 
And then that little band right there that fits on you, and maybe we blouse up, you tuck in an Irma with a Lucy or something, and the Irma, that's what I'm wearing right now, can be a, such a good look tucked in because you have your waistband. I don't know if you guys can even see this, but you have your waistband nice and high, and then you pull this up and over. It creates this blousey look like you got these great boobs, and then you have this great little waistband, and it really creates a look that we're all, a lot of us are going for. Maybe not everybody, but a lot of people are. <laughs> Just saying. Um, another great skirt that a lot of you guys like is the Madison. Madison is such a good look too, because here's your body, here's your little legs, creates a waistband right there, and then it does the pleats out, and you still have your cute little legs right down there. So that's such a good look for you too, but it does take time to get used to oversizing things. I get it, guys. We're all into LuLaRoe because of the vanity sizing, and we love it, but to create some of the styles and the looks that we want, we do have to oversize some of them, okay? So don't be scared. Don't be scared at all. Um, you guys, also, another thing for you guys is the Irma. Irma is the LuLaRoe's number one selling item. Can you guys believe that? Be before leggings, Carly, everything. It's the Irma. Irma is what I'm wearing. I forgot a step stool. I'm going to stand on a chair, and you're going to have to stare at my empty rack. Okay. It's kind of a look. So here's an Irma. I have it slightly oversized because it's elegant. This one's a large. Uh, it's not for sale. Anyways, Irma comes just above, like, the top of your legs. And she's such a good look if you oversize her a little bit to kind of, if you are a rectangle, to hang nicely over the belly. It creates a nice, long, and lean look. And with the dolman sleeves out like this, it makes your chest look really, really good. So those are, they're awesome for you. Irma's and leggings are totally, totally a must if you are a rectangle or banana. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better word. I did figure out hourglass though. Hourglass is a peanut because the peanut emoji, emoji looks like an hourglass because we can't do eggplant and we all know why. We're just not going to talk about it, okay? Somebody suggested eggplant and I just I ixnayed that one from the beginning. <laughs> so for you guys, leggings. I really suggest for you guys to go with something bold on the top. Like, normally we say, you know, emphasize the smallest part or the part that you want everybody to see. But for you guys, a really nice pattern. Um, now I'm trying to do polka dots. A really nice pattern on the top. Of course, we're doing green polka dots. It looks like a domino, actually, at this point. Um, really helps disguise where like the midsection gets filled up and we're just kind of like, ah, I don't want anything clinging down there and you want to kind of camouflage things. A really nice pattern on top and then some sort of accent or even a bright pop of color is really great on you guys' leggings. Like doing a nice, because you have such good legs, you guys can easily do all those solid leggings that everyone else is scared of, like Cottage Cheese Central. You guys could do those. So a nice pair of aqua or turquoise or coral or some bright red, I love red leggings, um, pop of color is really great if you have this body shape and you complement it with a nice printed top. Like don't be afraid of a printed top feeling like you don't want to accent it because print covers a multitude of sins. We all know that. I eat a lot of cake. I just ate a piece of cake. I eat a lot of pie. I'm very thankful for print and for glitter that hides all the things and really good camera angles, okay? <laughs> That's what I have to say about all that. So if you want more tips and you are, you know, interested in finding out about more body shapes, I'm doing a whole styling series in my VIP group. The link is in the caption. I would love to have you, love to talk to you about it and what shape you're looking for. And I would love for you to refer me to a friend or two. I am so excited every time I get to style a new person. I think it's a challenge and I think it's fun and I've kind of turned LuLaRoe into my own source of like consumer research. <laughs> so I love to help you find what you're looking for and to help style you. What's, when's the peanut? When's the peanut? <coughs> maybe, uh, maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday we'll do it for coffee, right? All right. So um, I love you guys and the only way my business grows is through you. So if you're, I'm happy for you to share or add one or two people that you love to my special little VIP group so we can give them the banana, apple, pie, pear treatment with peanut butter. So that all got real weird real fast. Okay.
If you have any questions, please comment below or send me a message and I would love to help you figure out what styles to invest in. And I'll see you later tonight for those of you that want to shop. I'm throwing together a bunch of new outfits. Miss Amber needs a new outfit and a lot of things. So if you have an outfit that you want or something that you want to see, shoot me a comment, shoot me a message, and I'll get you all hooked up. So I'm off to make outfits, and you guys are off to look at them so you can style your banana. Right? It's kind of weird. Anyways, there you go. Go style the banana. <laughs>